I used to think if I looked hard enough, I was going to find a cure. And I have found a lot of things that have helped. The antivirals, mold avoidance, even some of the supplements. But I'm not going to figure this out on my own. Inside every cell, there's your energy-making machine. It's called a mitochondria. So in this illness, each individual cell can have real problems capturing the things they need that your body uses to make energy, like oxygen and glucose. At a cellular level, you become less and less effective, like a wound-down clock. If our neurons don't have enough energy, we can't think. If our immune cells don't have enough energy, we can't fight viruses. And if our muscles don't have enough energy, we can't move. Okay. But where you can really see it is when we crash after physical or mental exertion. Our cells give out and all our symptoms flare. Dr. Climbus' team can actually track this crash point on a metabolic level. There's two different kinds of energy. There's aerobic energy and there's anaerobic energy that you get from the cell itself. We teach people how to stay in that tiny little space of aerobic, and it is little. Sometimes it's two minutes, sometimes it's three minutes of effort. You can safely operate in this space without crashing. Okay, we're going. Mm -hmm. The minute that you go into the anaerobic space and you ask the cells to make energy, you're in big trouble, because you don't have it. I think this? is half the reason this disease is so hard to understand. Why someone like me can be walking one moment and look completely normal. And then a few hours later, crash in bed for days. I feel like I'm this broken battery that's stuck at 10%. And when we crash, we disappear so you never see us at our worst. I was amazed to find out how many questions we've never really asked. Why do more women get it? Is it genetic? And why, 30 years into it, are we still no closer to a cure?